To begin, we'll quickly copy the part of the form and we'll create a constant variable. Let's call this PDF form file and then we'll store this as a string. Okay, now let's reference this to Acrobat form, a form AUT 1.0 or whatever is highest for you. So we'll create a sub called read PDF from fields. We'll declare the Acrobat app. Let's do this for Acrobat viewer. It's the same as the document. We'll have to use both the form as well as the document together. Now we'll start declaring the, the form and the fields. This will be the field. We'll replicate the same variable for fields. Later on, we're gonna look through all the fields. I'm gonna create the object for our application. We'll do the same for uh, the viewer for the document. Okay. Now we can um, we can open the document. We'll put the same validation like we did in the first video. We'll make sure that it's activated or brought to the front. This can be hide or show. For now, I'm just going to hide the application. So it's going to run at the backend. going to start creating um, an object for our form. Okay. Now we'll start um, referencing our fields within the form. We'll set up the fields. Okay, now we can start looping through all the fields with using this variable. Seems to compile fine. Now we'll try to print out all the value, the, the name of the field, the value within the field, and the type of the field. So it's better to use width because we're going to reuse. So the name of the field, type of the field, like is it a text or is it a radio button and so on, like email button. Let's put a bar between each of these fields so that one is printed out. It makes sense. Okay, so our code is almost ready. Um, Though it's gonna just print it out. Uh, let's close the form without saving it. Now we'll um, exit the app and then we'll just clear the memory. Okay, since the compile fine, so let's give it a shot. We're gonna just press F8 and go to uh, each line okay it seems to have opened I'll start to print the 
the name of the fields, the type, and the, the value. At the moment, the form does not have a value, so we'll quickly fill out something and we'll try to rerun this. Uh, let me open the form and just put in, uh, just put in my name and some dummy ID. These two uh, radio buttons will have uh, these two fields and then the survey date. I'm going to save it for now and replace the existing one. So you can see it's, it's been filled there. Now we're going to re reorganize the window a little bit and see um, how it prints out the value as well. I'm going to go through it again quickly. I'm just gonna make yeah, just comment that out. Start looking through the fields. You can see the first one is uh, strongly agree there, the value of the selection. The radio button again is to agree. The next one is the email ID, the first name and the last name. Right there, and the date. This seems to have, uh, you know, like, seems to be working perfectly as um, we wanted it to be. Now we'll quickly um, write this to our sheet instead of the immediate window. And then maybe we can also, in our next video, loop through each of the file and then pull in the data from there for each of the from. That current row is going to reset every time the data is being filled. And then the value. I'll just change the counter of the column, column 1, 2, and 3. Now I'm just going to run it. So, so I have pulled in all the data from the phone.